Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, not only thank you for that uh, warm welcome, I want to say uh, before you even exit this room, thank you for being here. Thank you for focusing on an issue that has support across the Commonwealth and uh, all of our cities and towns, but has a lot of support here in the building. And uh, we know, those of us that hold office, I represent you and the community you come from, know that it can't get done without the grassroots effort. So make no mistake, you being here today will have a, a, a crucial role, will play a crucial role in the success of this. We know Hawaii has taken up uh, raising the age to 21, California just did, Massachusetts is a first in so many initiatives. We need to follow, follow their uh, lead, uh, but then again lead the rest of the nation with this important initiative. You know this polling that came out that the communities and uh, residents of the Commonwealth support this. I'm proud to tell you that uh, the legislation I filed to raise the age to 21 has uh, over 56 co-sponsors from the House and Senate, bipartisan House and Senate. So nearly 25% of my colleagues signed in and signed on to support this initiative. And then after the deadline, we had a lot more that um, chimed in and asked to be a part of it. So. You being here today, encouraging my colleagues, members of the House of Representatives to move this bill forward, plays an important role. Um, I want to tell you why I am passionate about it, as Mark said. Um, and many of you from the American Heart Association, American Cancer Society, I want to thank you because when I was in eighth or ninth grade, well, it was eighth grade, I saw a video that was, I think, government supported, it was a public service announcement. And then it was about the, uh, the, the hazards and the uh, the pains and the challenges of uh, smoking and the uh, illnesses and the diseases and the things, the harms that it caused an individual. And there were three or four people that they profiled. And I think of those people uh, every day that I'm in this building fighting for this initiative. Uh, and those people at that time of my life that I saw that their, uh, the, the battles that they faced because of the tobacco smoking, I am now fighting on their behalf here to make sure that we don't have uh, kids that are 15, 16, and 17 years old starting this harmful uh, lifelong addiction. So we know that the bill also includes um, a ban on pharmacies. It's either you want to be in the business of helping people get better and, and wellness or ca causing them a lifetime of harm. So we're, we're glad that CVS took a, the lead and removed those products from their shelves. Um, and we want to have other pharmacies do the same. And the other part is the e-cigarettes. And we see the uh, proliferation of these as well, the increase of the number of uh, users, young people that are thinking this is not as harmful, uh, and it is. Um, so your work here today is extremely important, and I want to say personally thank you uh, for taking time out of your days, your day and uh, hours to spend some time here in the State House. How many people is, uh, for how many people is your first time in the State House? Okay, quite a few. So it's your house, it's the people's house. The policy that uh, we want to take up is on uh, for the greater good of everyone in the Commonwealth. So to me, uh, I consider this landmark legislation. I've been told through uh, some of my uh, peers and members of the legislature have been here longer that it's all landmark legislation. But uh, nonetheless, this one is very personal. This one I want to uh, make sure that it's personal to you, each of you as well. Um, make sure that the senators that you may pass, you thank them for voting this out and um, moving it over to the House. If you happen to see a House member, most of them are co-sponsors, most of them want to be co-sponsors, ask them to make sure they keep it a priority as we come to the end of the session. And you can thank them as well. Thank them for realizing that this is something that's going to make a difference in public health care costs and in the lives, the quality of lives of uh, the young residents of the Commonwealth. So, again, thanks very much. Enjoy your day here in the State House. I will see you in the hallways. A great day to whoever uh, pulled this together. The perfect day to here because the House of Representatives is in formal session. So 160 of us will be here and we'll all want to hear from you. So, thank you very much and continued success. And here's to seeing this become making our smoking history soon in the Commonwealth. Hi, my name is My name is Lilia Hearn. I'm 17 and I'm also a junior at North Edinburgh High School. We are here as representatives of the Pocomock Area YMCA Leaders Chapter, and more specifically, statewide leadership team memberships, members of the 84 Movement, the 
Youth Tobacco Prevention Organization to share with you the impact tobacco has on our youth. We like, want to thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. It means a lot to us, and this is a cause that we both strongly support. The 84 Movement is an organization whose members are youth advocates fighting against tobacco. The 84 represents the 84% of youth in Massachusetts who did not smoke when the movement began. That number has since risen to 89%. We first got involved with the 84 Movement in the fight against tobacco for our local leaders club. Leaders club is primarily a youth volunteering club, but there we were offered the opportunity to participate in Kid Buds Day in March, which is an 84 Movement sponsored event. There, Lily and I both were able to meet with legislators similar to what we're here doing today, to share with them um, our opinions on specific tobacco-related issues that face youth in Massachusetts. There, our chapter also won the most progressive new chapter award for our chapter's junior leaders club, where we performed different tobacco prevention activities with middle schoolers to start tobacco prevention before they enter. Thank you for taking the time to hear us. This is an issue that we are truly passionate about, as you can probably tell. So people making the time to hear our voice. 